cool. A little talk about dot settings, okay? Um, and, and some things that I like, okay? And it, and it may be beneficial for you as well. Um, typically like a smaller dot, but it needs to be bright, okay? Uh, the smaller the dot is, uh, the less of your target it covers, okay? So that's one of the, the great benefits of a red dot on a pistol is more visual information and cleaner visual information. Um, if your dot's huge, you don't really get that. You cover a lot of target, okay? Uh, so what I'll do uh, a lot of times, especially for, um, you know, from uh, working stage stuff or performance stuff or shooting a match or something like that or just training like I am out here, um, the hardest target or the smallest target, you know, if there's a head, head target out there um, in the stage somewhere, um, I'll make sure, you know, when I do my walkthrough or, or load that I'll check the dot, check the dot setting based on that target. Okay, um, if you know this is brighter sunlight, you know, so you want your dot to stand out. You don't want it, you know, so faint or so small that you can't see it fast or process it fast. Uh, but you also want it to where it doesn't cover a lot of your target, so you can get all those benefits. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I've got targets out here. The longest one's about 25 yards from right here. You know, some stuff in around eight. You know, if this uh, this is a delta point, it's a two and a half MOA dot, allegedly. Uh, well, if that thing was on full brightness, you know, it's huge. Um, and it also is not round. Uh, this particular one, the brighter it gets, the less round it gets. So you kind of get that starburst kind of thing there. Um, and there's, you know, different dots are a little bit different. Um, that's, that's a downfall of this one when it's really bright. It kind of blooms out a little bit, you know. So um, I'll bring the intensity down to where it stands out nice, but it doesn't cover uh, a lot of target, you know. And if you needed to to aim for a two-inch shot at 25 yards, you could do it. Dig? Um, now that's some thoughts. I'm, I'm shooting uh, the delta point on this one. It's a decent sight. It's got a decent size field of view. Um, dot intensity is okay. It's got that downside uh, from my preference on how it blooms out there, uh, but. For this particular gun, it fits directly on the gun. Um, you know, I kind of like that. You know, kind of like how this gun's kind of uh, built for this, or you can put a plate on and go with the, uh, the like an RMR, or I would use a hollow sun. So uh, I may put the, the plate on there and try the hollow sun, see what I think about that with it being a little bit higher. There's probably some good advantages to that too. Um, actually, I know there are, but um, I like the field of view on this one. Um, so there were some thoughts on setting up your dot. Oh, I don't know what was going on with that. Um, roundness, um, you know, um, some of the dots, you know, you can go um, bigger dot um, and, you know, like a six MOA dot. You know, theoretically, you know, um, you know, six MOA dot or two and a half MOA dot, the two and a half MOA dot will be smaller, okay? Uh, however, in reality, according to how the dot's built. You know, this thing, you know, I've had some uh, Seymour, for example, the Seymour RTS-2s uh, with a six MOA dot. You can crank that thing all the way up and it stays round, it's still six MOA. This two and a half MOA dot, if I crank it all the way up, it's bigger or in reality on the target and not round and kind of flared out more so than that six MOA dot. Uh, so sometimes when people ask like, hey, what dot size do you prefer? It's based on what kind of dot it is. You know, if it stays round and you can go full brightness, six ohm away is pretty cool, you know. Um, you know, we're not doing 100 yard stuff with pistols or, and if we are, you know, if it was truly six ohm away, it would cover six inches of target at 100 yards. That wouldn't be too shabby, you know. Um, and, you know, up close, you know, it's, it's much smaller, but still bright, still really stands out well and it's round at full brightness, you know. Uh, somewhere around three is not too bad. Uh, I've got the hollow suns that have a two MOA dot. They stay, they stay fairly roundish, even at, at brighter intensities, uh, more so than, than this one does for sure. And they got a decent sized window as well. So anyway, there's some thoughts on settings for your dot and maybe dot size selection as well.